This Week at NASA. This is a glorious experience for our students because for them, most museum experiences are pretty meaningless. Standing behind a velvet rope while you listen to somebody else describe what they're seeing. In this instance, they're here, they're touching things, they're hands-on, and they're operating equipment like a flight simulator. That's a very unusual experience for them, and it gives them a much more meaningful sense of how things work and what they do and how it all fits together. My favorite part is driving the car. That's what I call that thing. It's been really rewarding to be able to uh, share the, the rover driving experience with, with these students and to show them a little bit about what exploration is all about and why we explore and give them an opportunity to see hands-on what it's like to do some exploration. It's been pretty exciting. We got a, certainly a bunch of young people enthused about motion and the idea of inertia, getting involved with a piece of equipment that actually does something and moves. It, it then motivates them to study this more. We don't often get to do this, so we're, we're, we're pretty happy to do this, really. It's just like a once-in-a-lifetime experience and an experience that I'll always remember. And it's, I'll probably ever, never get this chance again. We're supposed to be reaching out to the community, whether it's national, international, local, and try to make sure that we reach out and inspire young people so they can understand what it takes, what is required in order to be able to explore the universe. Travel Space Museum is the perfect organization to make that happen. They give hands-on opportunity for young people to see what it's like to deal with technology and science from all over the world. Once you sit inside the cockpit of a vehicle, see how the space toilet works, understand how moon walks are taking place, it's absolutely fantastic. We gotta keep stimulating these young people to understand hard work, perseverance, commitment, that's what it's about. And it's a lot of fun, and we're trying to make sure they don't lose the fun. This is so great because the students can actually see what NASA is up to, hands-on, to actually have them you know, interact with you guys and to see the cool um, equipment is just so much more powerful than anything I can show them on the internet or in the book. Have you ever wanted to be an astronaut? Yeah. So what, what's this experience been like? It's been awesome. It's been so cool. What's your favorite thing you've done today? anything and work at NASA and it really appeals to kids that giving them an opportunity to say hey that that possibly could be me. One kid asked for my autograph I'm like I'm not really like an astronaut and he's like I don't care he's like I want somebody's autograph from NASA this is so cool. Our students do some hands-on labs in their science classes for example however um, certainly getting to experience something on a scale like this is not something that they normally get to do. I just think it's a really great opportunity for our students and I think that they will remember this as a great day at school. Most people want these Indians and blacks and Mexicans to be social workers. We want them to be scientists, economists, business people. We want them to contribute to the diversity of science, not because of their color, but because of their training. How many blacks, Mexicans, or Indians, or poor whites do you know who have PhDs in physics? That's what we want. That's diversity. We tried on uh, space suits, but not like the real one, like the one that you wear when you, after you lunch. And so yeah, that was cool. And now we're doing this, and that was really fun. That was really fun. I felt I felt, I felt like I was about to fall. So I was <laughs> And then I did that, that. It's like the satellite thing. And then like it tells us like, it's like it tells us how they like, study Pluto and stuff, and how Pluto's like a dwarf planet and stuff like that. Everything that they're learning, that there is value in everything and that they could take it with them in the long term. I think this is a great opportunity for them to see and understand why these things are important. One day, one of them may be an astronaut or in charge of NASA, I don't know, but it all begins with a dream. 
NASA gets them to dream about where they can go. And that's great. What I see in their eyes when they experience this is great awe. That's what, because they've seen it go up, they've seen it come down, they've, somebody has spoken at them about it, but suddenly it is real. And so I see them looking at it, studying it, and going, oh, and what is this for? And, what? and they have so many questions. It's not enough to expose kids to something. They need to learn what is it. And if you're not teaching them, they're still having questions. So they want to learn, and they want to know, and they want hands-on experience, and they want to have fun doing it. And that's what the Traveling Space Museum is all about. A lot of our kids have been talking about, well, what is NASA? What do they really do? Um, so really, this is going to answer most of their questions. So um, they're about exploration, they're about innovation, but they're also about problem solving. Um, my favorite part's been actually the space toilet. It's really interesting. The rovers, yes, the rovers. Those are really neat. Um, just how it could go anywhere and how it could jump over stuff. The NASA people are making it more interesting, like having more activities with it, and like they laugh with it, they talk with us. It makes school more interesting. Like the things that the teachers be teaching, they be using these big old words and everything. But like with them, they sit there and like demonstrate it to you, so it makes it even cooler. It helped me, and it said if I learn more in mathematics, I can become a make a robot or something. I like that they gave a chance for inspiration to kids. What Traveling Space Museum does is a concept that I call learning like an astronaut. Astronauts learn by using simulators and having experts in front of them. And that's what we do for, for our students. And by having NASA people involved in that, this is the epitome of what I've been trying to do for 12 years. This is the high point of my career as a space educator. It's been really great, and they've, I, I mean, I've seen them have a really good time. And also, they're learning some science, asking some good questions, so it's, it's good. It's good. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back in the classroom tomorrow and hopefully take some of that further. What you're doing here today is extremely important. The children are learning what they need to know for the future because they are going to have to know what to do when they grow up and this is the only way they're going to find out so the more NASA is involved the better. I like the moon boots because it makes you go really high it goes to make you go in the sky eee! 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 <laughs> the Pluto probe was has been in space for about five to ten years or so and it's, and it's only halfway to Pluto, halfway. I learned that the rovers in space um, run off of solar panels and they store um, power and the batteries overnight. The reason that we're doing this is to make sure that we actually continue to invest in science and technology within NASA and for the benefit of NASA. So as we reach out for kids, they're also reaching back to NASA in trying to provide benefit for the current agency as well as in the future when we need our science and engineers to continue the space program and the aeronautics programs. It makes their dreams kind of a little closer to reality. When I went to school here, it was during the Apollo times, during the 60s, and I remember going to the library and wanting to read the books about space. Here, these students are able to take it a step further and actually touch the rockets and see a hovercraft work, and just allows them to take that, take that extra step toward making their dreams a reality.